So this big yellow nerve right here is the sciatic nerve. And it, it's, it's, it's really the thickest nerve we have in the body, aside from the spinal cord, it's, it's the biggest one. It comes off, I'm gonna to start to take some more muscles away so that we can see where this originates and then we'll build these muscles back up. But it passes through what's called the sciatic notch in the pelvis. And so everything shares space, nerves, muscles, connective tissue um, shares space within our bony structure. Um, I'm gonna build these muscles back in, okay? So here, you know, in class, we talk a lot about the rotation, mm -hmm. the hip rotators and how those um, uh, control so much, so much of our movement. And, they, and, and you can sort of see like, because they run side to side like this, any time in class when we have one foot planted down mm -hmm. and we're doing like these open steps, then those muscles that run side to side like that, those are getting elongated and shortened and fed and all those good things. So that's an example of why when I say like, okay, we're gonna try to keep our foot down, plant it on the floor, and we're gonna open this step up and come back oh, and across, across. That, that really, really um, um, stimulates those muscles that get really weak and tired from all the sitting and the not wide steps that we take. And I'm gonna show you the, one of the big culprits of sciatic pain. One right here, the piriformis. So you may have heard of piriformis syndrome, um, may, maybe, maybe not, right? Um, but I'm gonna fade some of these other muscles here. So we can see that um, this piriformis muscle is one of those rotators that we're talking about that we work when we're coming from an open step back to say even balance or crossing over or things like that. Like when we're really at, like say kids on the playground, right? They're always jumping, running, turning, getting down on the floor, climbing, going in all these different directions. And that keeps everything like supple and limber and moving. And then we don't do that <laughs> as we get older, <laughs> right? But we might play a sport that Rot like golf or tennis that we're always loading and rotating to one side or we might sit and cross our legs a lot where we're always putting pressure more on one side than the other or we might stand because it's more comfortable like this which puts more pressure and shortens and changes the length of those muscles from side to side so it's always like this compilation of of activities. And then there's also um, a really weird little thing about the body is there are different ways that this muscle and these nerves interact uh, or, or the way that we're made. So not everybody looks like this. So I'm gonna show you another uh, example of how we're different. Can you, did the screen change to like a black and white thing? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is just a drawing of, this is that piriformis muscle. Right. And the black thing is that sciatic nerve. Right. That is like, quote unquote, the normal way that we're put together. Okay. But we have these variations. In some people, the sciatic nerve runs in between that muscle. In some people, it almost wraps, oh, it wraps over the top. And this, these are all different ways that have been um, shown through cadaver studies that that muscle and that nerve can mm -hmm. be situated in a person. So we have all these uh, varying things. And it might, there's studies that tell us that, that, that might, some people are more predisposed to getting that muscle and that nerve, uh, more irritated than other people. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can say, I mean, particularly the one where it goes through, I mean. Right, right, exactly. 
But the good news is regardless of how that nerve runs through, around, over, or between that piriformis muscle, it doesn't mean that you're destined to have a problem. We, we can overcome any of these things by thinking a little bit more about what we do all day or mm -hmm. what we don't do all day and what we've done for years or what we haven't done for years. And this just sort of, I just want to show this as an explanation of maybe why some people are a little bit more prone to having this issue than others.